Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rainbow ice cream cake. It's a really fun recipe to put together, it takes a lot of steps, and it will take you a little bit of time, but it's well worth the effort. Let's get started. For the ice cream cake, we're going to be using vanilla ice cream, ice cream cones, maraschino cherries, vanilla buttercream, chocolate ganache, a package of crushed Oreos, and then a Maricolor gel paste in purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red, and some confetti sprinkles. For all the measurements and the recipes, check out the description box below for all those details. The first thing I'm going to do is make the crust. So I have my cookie crumbs here in my larger bowl and my ganache here in this bowl, and I'm just going to mix them together using a spatula. And this is going to form a delicious crust that the ice cream cake will sit on. So I'm gonna mix this all up, and then I'm going to get a nine inch spring form pan ready to put this into. So I've lined my pan with saran wrap to help with um, getting the cake out at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all of my chocolate chip mixture into the middle here. And then I'm just going to press it down and make it as even as I can get it. And then I'm going to pop it into the freezer to solidify for about 10 minutes. Once your crust is set, you want to start by coloring your softened vanilla ice cream. Now I had my ice cream out for about 20 minutes and you can see it's nice and soft. Don't worry about it being too soft because you're going to refreeze it in a little bit. So I'm just putting a little bit of my red gel paste in here and I'm going to mix that up entirely and then I'll be back to show you how to put it into the crust. Once your red coloring is all mixed in, you're going to take it, your bowl, and just using a spatula, just spoon it into the center on top of your crust. Get it all in there. And then I'm going to take an offset spatula and I'm just going to smooth it out, going over top, and covering the whole thing. Now each layer of the cake is going to be needed to be frozen for at least 30 minutes because you don't want the colors running. So I'm gonna put my red here into the freezer for 30 minutes, like I said, and I'm going to repeat the process for each of the other colors. And I'm gonna come back and show you how to do the final purple layer. So I have my layers of my ice cream cake built up all the way to the blue and you can see along the sides that it is larger than the pan is but I'll show you how to do work with that now that I'm putting on my purple. So I'm just going to spoon this on and then I'm going to smooth it out the same way that I had before with my offset spatula just like this. Being careful when you get to those edges making it nice and as flat as you can like this, spreading it around. Get right to those edges. Now, the important thing to remember is that you don't want these top two layers that go outside of the pan to be wider than the pan is or you'll have a hard time getting your cake out of the mold. So we watch that when you're doing that. So then I'm just going to take a flat edge spatula and then just make sure that I'm not going outside any of those areas, just like that. So I'm going to freeze it for a good couple hours. If you have overnight, I recommend doing it overnight. Um, you want it to be really solid before you take it out of the pan. So I'm going to go pop it into the freezer for a couple of hours. So while the cake is freezing in the freezer, I'm going to prep my ice cream cones. Now I'm cutting off a portion of them so that they can stick to the side of the cake um, really easily. So I'm just taking a serrated knife and then I'm just starting near the top and just gradually working my way down like this until that much is taken off. So what I have here prepared before the cake comes out of the freezer is a water bath. I've got it filled up with about an inch and a half of water. That's the hottest I can get from my tap. And what I'm going to do is just put the cake into it for a couple of seconds and that will help release the ring from the cake. So just gonna pop the cake into the water bath. Just leave it for a couple seconds. Hopefully it's gonna release nice and easily. 
and take it out and release the side and let's slide the ring off. There we go. So I'm going to take off all of my saran wrap and then I'm going to clean up any edges and I'll be back to show you the next step. So now I'm going to start putting my cones on the side of the cake. So I'm just going to press my cut cone whoops, into the side like that. Don't press too hard or you do that. And I'm taking my ice cream scoop that's been sitting in warm water and I'm just going to scoop out a bit to put onto the top, just like that. So I'm going to go around and put all six cones onto the side. So to finish off our ice cream cake, we're going to put on some sprinkles on our cones all the way around like this. And we're going to put some over here in the middle, sprinkle them all around and then a cherry on the top of each of the cones like this. You don't have to put the cherries or the sprinkles on. Obviously that's optional, but it does add a really nice element to the cake. Oops, I think I got spares. And now I'm going to pipe my, with my buttercream in between just to give it a nice little border along the top. So I'm gonna finish piping all the way around and then I'll be back to close the video. So there you go everybody, how to make a rainbow ice cream cake. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of our newest videos. I'll see you again next time.